Good morning, friends. Welcome to Coffee Talk this morning. Uh, we're here in this beautiful park. It's a nice park. Mm-hmm. It's and a good park for lounging and just kind of laying yep. back. And on a Sunday afternoon. On a Sunday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In yeah. June. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> we made so many connections here today, but uh, thanks for hanging out with us. We got to the Galatly Nut Farm, uh, and we are just enjoying the place that we live and uh, just soaking it up. And so that's really what we're going to remind you of kind of in a few minutes, but uh, we want to take a look back. Uh, <laughs> We want to take a look back and uh, and just uh, remind ourselves, okay, what, what are we talking about these days? And we were talking about bless, mm-hmm. about blessing our community. And uh, Jeff, you led us through uh, some uh, amazing passages. Um, and we talked about serve, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And you served us by sharing the mm-hmm. word. Thank you for serving, You are welcome. Jeff yeah. Uh, you talked about serving in a few different ways. But um, mm. but we also shared in communion, mm-hmm. and and my question for you is, uh, how what is your what is your learning style? If you were to learn something brand new mm. and you had no idea, mm-hmm. or something you wanted to get into a routine about, how how would you go about learning that? What what's your like? Is it is it reading? Is it experiencing? Is it hearing? Does somebody just tell you the words and you're done? How do you learn? Man, that's a good question. I, I, I usually start with reading, start with kind of trying to grasp the big picture. Um, but yeah, if it's a skill, somebody showing me, if it's um, if it's if it's a concept, I start with reading. Mm. I guess it depends for me on yeah. what. Uh, I've never really been good at knowing my learning style because. Um, I feel like I pick things up fairly easily, but I'm not like sure exactly how. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are you better than I am at knowing yourself? Uh, <laughs> that's a question you don't really want to answer. <laughs> I'm just not really sure how to, so exactly. I guess by default, no. <laughs> uh, why don't you go back to his question? <laughs> Do you have a learning style? Um, is trial and error an option? <laughs> yes, actually. I, I actually, do think yeah. I do think that's mm-hmm. a lot of it. Like, mm-hmm. um, even yeah, I mean, f- for all that's read, if, if I if I, you know, you read a four hundred page book or three hundred page book or whatever, and if I can remember like one or two things, mm-hmm. that that's usually good. But I feel like that's not the optimal way to learn things, and there's probably a lot of information in that book that if I had encountered in a different format might be right. might be better retained right. mm-hmm. um, but even like so I, I will say uh, for for a lot of things YouTube is amazing because mm-hmm. yeah. there's mm-hmm. a lot of infor- like quality information learning opportunities there mm-hmm. but even then they've got to be short packages yeah yeah um, because and concise. right yes. exactly yeah. um, and so true Right. Yeah. Or, or the important, helpful information gets lost in all the other details. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because I just need to go and try it, yep. and get an idea, then try it out, mm-hmm. and which is probably a good thing. I'm not a pilot. Yeah. Uh, as I watch a seaplane land on the <laughs> yeah. lake right over there, I'm like, yeah. I probably yeah. would like crash and burn. I'd be like, oh, let's just try yeah. it, and, yeah. and that wouldn't go well. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But mm. which is which is funny too that like. You know, I think about doing education and all the different things I had to read, and it's like, so what did I learn? Yeah. <laughs> but the and but yet, the cl- the classes that I think were the most formative were the ones that were experiential. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, when you when like learning to write lesson plans and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's not just read this. I mean, we had to read books on how to do that, but then it's like now actually write some lesson plans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it seemed like there, there needed to be some kind of teaching. You could you could sort of begin to, but then you had to like take a next step and experience it right Mm -hmm. so so that's where my mind went to when Mm -hmm. when we talk about serve because i think jesus probably told them like if if the new thing to learn was serve one another Mm -hmm. serve one another in love uh okay how is jesus going to get it through their thick skulls or get it through our thick skulls Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do we do that he probably said it over and over and over and in the midst of saying it over and over and over then we get to this moment in communion where um, uh, 
where we see Jesus and and Jeff, you didn't lead us through this, but like where we see Jesus around the communion table mm -hmm. and him saying, you know, no servant is greater than their master. Mm -hmm. And I am your Lord and master. Yep. And here's what I'm going to do. And he puts on a towel yep. and washes their feet and says, see, see what I have done for you. This is what it means to serve each other, mm -hmm. that no one is greater. Mm -hmm. Like, like, yeah. and, and for me, that's like this unbelievable picture of learning Yeah. of like, he told me over and over and over and over and I didn't get it. And I kept, you know, wanting to be the greatest or to, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, the sons of thunder coming and saying, yep. you know, could you give us some authority? Yeah. Because that's mm -hmm. how we would care for us, right? Like, but well, there's got to be that experience part with it, oh, right? Absolutely. And, yeah. and you look at the fact that he sent them out twice mm -hmm. before that. Yep. Like they had two mm -hmm. practicums yeah. even before that moment. <laughs> and yeah. when I, when you read through, you're like, okay, he sends them out. Great. He hasn't given them a whole lot of instruction before that. Mm -hmm. The first time he sends them out, yeah. yep. right? Kind of seems like it's relatively early in the mm -hmm. ministry. They're just on it right away. And it's like, well, hold on. Where's the classroom instruction? How mm -hmm. come there's not like, yeah. a year yeah. or more of, of exactly. being with Jesus and watching it? No, it's just like, get out and do it. Just go do it. Well, Here's what you need to know. Like two things, Yeah. right? I think you're right. You're hitting on it. He said it over and over again. He showed him over and over again. Like he went out of his way to yeah. serve people. He was yeah. always doing it. Mm -hmm. And then he sticking sent them his, out. Sticking his fingers yeah. in, like, like yeah. there was that yeah. care. And then he sent them out to practice, and he still had to show them by serving them at the last meet, like all the way up till the last moment he was with them, he was serving them. And then even even after his resurrection, they're out fishing. And he's like, "Come have, come have breakfast," and he serves yeah. some breakfast. Right, <laughs> his breakfast is already like, yeah. I think, uh, I think, I think. Sorry, you might be. I'm taking over here, but uh, where where I feel like you led us is these practices aren't just listen to the sermon on Sunday yes. and go and, and and you're great at it. It's it's right. it's <clears throat> maybe need to listen a couple times, uh, look at the passages, talk in your life group, but practice, practice, practice. That's why we call yes. it practices, yeah. right? That these practices, five practices. Yeah. And I think the encouragement of Jesus sending everybody out before they're fully mm -hmm. prepared yeah. is that he's okay with them failing. Yeah. Like they come back yep. that one time and they're like, hey, Jesus, there was this demon we couldn't cast out. What's the deal with that? Mm -hmm. And he doesn't chide them. He mm -hmm. really, like he just says, well, this can only come out. And right, he talks about yeah. prayer and he talks about all this other stuff. And, and they worked it out. And mm -hmm. he's okay, I think, if we flop. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he, learn from it. Failures, right, learn yeah. from it. And then and then do it. So yeah. I think too mm -hmm. often we we read a book, we, we have a sermon series, we talk about it in life groups, and that's where it ends. And mm -hmm. at some point, we just have to get out of our own way and just try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and Keep I practicing. think that's that's what Jesus modeled with mm -hmm. his disciples. Yeah. It's okay now, guys, go do it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's like, and, that's and, really And important. all of these with the long-term goal of blessing the world around us yeah. in mm -hmm. the same way that Jesus, that Jesus, you know, bless the world, you know, in, in giving his life and, and, and giving him himself like serving serving by um being the suffering servant right mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully you can continue to practice these things yes. and practice them mm -hmm. uh in so many different ways serving mm -hmm. your family serving your community serving mm -hmm. one another in love uh how important this is to practice 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 mm -hmm. so we were at uh, a soccer practice last night mm -hmm. and so i sat i sat my team down and said okay we we're going to work on one two or three if you get the ball, number one is you shoot. Can you shoot? No, you can't shoot. You're too far away. Or, you know, uh, there's a somebody right in front of you. Okay, then you go to number two. Number two is pass it. Is there anybody to pass to? No, they're all being blocked. Okay, so then go to number three. Then dribble away, find an open space, and yeah. dribble to there, right? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, we're going to practice. The amount of times I said one, two, or three, mm -hmm. or freeze, <coughs> one, two, or three. Can yeah. you do a one? No. Can you do it? right? Like, Practice, mm. practice, 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 practice. Yeah. So that when we get to that game, uh, when these moments come, so. Sound like a good coach, Kevin. <laughs> I'm trying. Coach Kev. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so that's what I'm keeping myself with busy with these days. But, mm -hmm. uh, but hopefully, as you, as you are working your way through um, uh, the series with us, that you're practicing over and over, mm -hmm. and that we can practice these things in many different ways. So even this Sunday. Uh, Chris, can you tell us uh, something exciting that's happening on uh, Sunday morning? On Sunday morning, we get together. And that's pretty exciting. Um, mm -hmm. But more than that, it's grad season. 
and we do have a couple grads as part of our church and uh, we want to honor them in the service and so they're going to come it'll be a, a morning of um, kind of hearing a little bit of update what God's doing in their life um, not every grad knows right like uh, but I but I uh, but we want to hear from them if they do know and and even if a grad just some years we've had grads come and they say well I'm going to take a year to figure it out and that's a beautiful thing too but Mostly what we want the day to be about is, um, yes, hearing from them, but as a church, we get to encourage them. And I think what every grad needs is that understanding that whatever they go off and do post high school, whether that's, you know, stay close to Lakeview and, and study around here or join a new church in a new city or even just across the bridge, it's to know that there's a community that is praying for them, that is cheering them on, that is encouraging them. Um, they really... They really, um, I think that's really important for grads. And so we want to, we want to celebrate them in the service and then celebrate them afterwards with just a little bit of, um, a little uh, pre-lunch sweetness. We're going to have cake together. <laughs> and um, in some ways that's, yeah, it's, it's fun. I mean, how can you party without cake? But more than that, it's a way to just kind of pause. <clears throat> and um, if you want, if you know either of these grads, then you can, you know, or don't, or just like, hey, I think I just want to just say, hey, good job. Um, but chance to kind of... Um, in a loving way, corner them and say, good on you. And we're praying for you and encourage them. And so um, that's going to be part of our morning uh, in addition to all the regular stuff at Lakeview. So we're looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then following cake, because we yep. should always have dessert before we eat. Uh, following cake, we will... That's then... not a problem for you, is it, Jeff? Just out of curiosity, is that... No, because I'm just going to take my cake... Yeah, and eat it And too? eat it after I might lunch. Oh, I see. You're going to bring a little to-go box. <laughs> yeah. Good so, okay, all right. So we're going to come down here to the nut farm, mm -hmm. and yeah. we're going to gather together, and we are just encouraging everybody to come every Sunday in June. And so that's what we are doing uh, all these uh, Sundays in June, and... Uh, Jeff, can you tell us what is happening on the last Sunday in June? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, there's five Sundays in June, so uh, we already had one picnic here. We have uh, four more, and so we get lots of goodness down here at the Nut Farm. The fifth Sunday, June 30th, I want you to save the date because we are having three people get baptized in the lake. So during our, yeah, during our time here, we'll eat together, but we'll also uh, see, the, see them be baptized and speak into their life. We will hear their testimony during the morning service, uh, and then uh, we want to, you to join them coming down here to to witness uh, and be a part of that baptism and, and sharing uh, just all that God has done and is doing in their lives um, and in our lives as a community because they're a part of us and we're, we together grow. So that's uh, that's something I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. It's an exciting day. Mm -hmm. and uh, exciting month and uh, hopefully you're getting out and enjoying the weather and the beautiful place that we're at and uh, having some great coffee when uh, in your day and uh, thanks for hanging out with us and we will talk to you on Sunday.